Today, I'm at Ambie's Toy Box in Honesdale, Pennsylvania. They sell a little bit of everything here, all different types of collectibles, like vintage toys, vinyl records, video games, antiques, and of course, comic books. They just moved into a new location, so all of their inventory is scattered around the building, but it was a lot of fun seeing everything they had. Let's take a look at the shop now. So after I was talking to the owner of the shop for a little while, he brought out his secret stash of Golden Age books. Take a look at some of the gems that are in here. There's some great books in here, and here's a little taste of some pre-code horror. There's even more to come. And this early detective comic was awesome, but too bad it was missing part of the cover. Here's a little early Wonder Woman and Sensation Comics 76, really cool cover. There were these two random Thor Bronze Age books, but still pretty cool. But some of this golden age is amazing, like this Sheena, Queen of the Jungle. Look at the cover on that one.
I'm not a huge collector of Golden Age War books, but this one had a pretty awesome cover. So here comes all of the pre-code horror books. He had some pretty epic titles in here with some amazing covers. I actually ended up coming home with a few of them. So stay tuned for that. Take a look at these books and then we'll go home and I'll show you everything I picked up today at Ambie's Toy Box. There was also this early Captain America comic book hiding in there. Pretty awesome cover. I was really tempted to buy that one. Some of these comics towards the end of the box were some of my favorite that he had. And of course, I'm saving the best for last. I was really tempted to buy this one too. I love this cover.
Here comes the big one. This is Shock Suspense Stories with that classic cover. He wanted $2,000 for this book. It's a really clean copy, but unfortunately, I just couldn't afford that one. And these last two books are not Golden Age, but they are some pretty cool keys. Here we have Vampirella, issue number one from 1969. Such a classic Frank Frazetta cover. And also TMNT, issue number one. I believe this was a third printing. So I ended up coming home with three comics from this box. If you could have any three comics in this box, which ones would they be? Let me know down in the comments. All right, let's go home and see everything I picked up. All right, so I'm back home now, and you're all probably wondering, what comics did I buy? Well, I ended up getting three different books that you saw in the footage, and all three of them are pretty amazing. The first one is this one here. This is Chamber of Chills, issue number 13, lucky number 13. This is from Harvey Publications from 1952. And this book is in pretty nice condition. It does have this chip out of the corner. That's a little unfortunate, uh, but everything else looks really good. The colors are so vibrant and the graphic image of the guy peering down into the pit with all the ghouls coming out, really, really cool. And I actually ended up reading this book. Uh, it was pretty cool. Like the stories were a lot of fun. Uh, you know, there was multiple stories, one about like an executioner, and then this one here called The Lost Race. Uh, that's the image you see here on the cover uh, about like this guy hunting for something in Africa and he finds this pit and it's full of these like deformed humanoid creatures. Really, really fun stories in this book. Um, but I was really happy to pick this one up. Uh, he had it priced at $250, but I got it less than that because I bundled all three books and he gave me a pretty decent deal. So this first one here, Chamber of Chills, issue 13, Harvey Publications from 1952. Really awesome pre-code horror. So the next book that I picked up is this one here, Crime Suspense Stories, issue number 16. This is from EC Comics from 1953, and this has cover art, interior art, and stories by Johnny Craig. Johnny Craig is just iconic for pre-code horror. Uh, the very next issue, issue number 17 in this run, has that classic cover uh, that was referenced in Seduction of the Innocent, uh, you know, very graphic cover. And Johnny Craig has some amazing artwork and stories and I was really excited to find this one at the shop today, and I am so happy that I actually was able to pick it up, and now I own it in my personal collection. Uh, this book is in really nice condition. Uh, there's really not much wrong with it. Um, there's a, you know, it's got some spine wear, but the cover is firmly attached. There's like a little fading right there, a little staining or whatever that is, sun fading. The corners are pretty sharp. There's not much color breaking, just a, like a little bit. And man, this is a beautiful looking book. Uh, definitely one of the highest grade pre-code horror books I have in my collection now. Uh, they were asking $350 for this book and I got it for a little bit less. Like I said, I bundled the three books and he gave me a pretty good deal. Uh, this book is just awesome. Johnny Craig is just iconic, classic pre-code stuff. Really, really happy about this one. All right, let's take a look at the last book that I got because I'm really excited about this one. So I was debating on multiple books. There was some pretty cool ones in there, that police cases with the cool good girl art, and then uh, that early Captain America book, you know, and some of the other pre-code horror. There was a lot of great stuff, but I ended up going with this. Vampirella, issue number one. This is from Warren Publications, and uh, this was printed in 1969. 
Uh, this is such an awesome key to have in my collection now. As you probably know, I'm a huge horror fan. Vampirella is like iconic comic book horror. And I never uh, had this book. Uh, I actually don't own any of her other magazines. Uh, but, you know, I have a bunch of the comic books, but I've never had any of the original magazine run from Warren. Um, and I saw this. It's, it's in a lower grade, unfortunately. But honestly, it presents pretty well, and I'm really happy about this one. Uh, this was from Warren Publications in 1969 of uh, stories by Forrest J. Ackerman, and of course, artwork by the one and only Frank Frazetta. I mean, the cover of this book here is just outstanding. You have Vampirella looking pretty uh, intense, uh, standing in front of the moon. There's like the the bat wings or demon wings coming off of her. I mean, how awesome is that? This book is awesome. So, uh, like I said, it's got some spine ticks, some spine wear. There's like a little chip out of the corner here. Some color breaks in that corner. There's a little color break there. I don't think that's a tear, it's just a color break. But, you know, a little chip out of that corner. So, you know, it's it's not the highest of grades, but it's something that I could afford, you know? I was really, really excited about picking this one up. I was debating, you know, between a few other books, but I don't normally find this book out in the wild. And, you know, I was at this shop, I was in Pennsylvania. I live in New Jersey. I was like three and a half hours away from home. And I was diving through these amazing golden age pre-code horror. And then he had, uh, you know, TMNT number one and he had Vampirella number one. And I just had to grab it. He was asking $450 for this book, but I got it a little bit less. All right, so I ended up getting Vampirella number one. We got Crime Suspense Stories, issue number 16. And we also got Chamber of Chills, issue number 13. Three pretty awesome books. Uh, I've been going crazy buying uh, pre-code horror lately. Uh, I'm, I'm starting to uh, accumulate a nice little collection, which I am very happy about. Uh, I feel like, you know, Halloween's over, so the hype's down a little bit, and I'm able to find these books you know, for, you know, a little bit of better deals uh, than I, you know, was seeing, you know, when everyone's all hyped up about horror, you know, in like August, September, October. So, uh, like I said, they were asking 350 450 and 300 and I ended up getting everything for $900. So, I think that's a pretty decent deal. Um, this is in a pretty high grade. Uh, the Chamber of Chills is pretty good as well. I mean, probably like a 4.0, I would think, maybe a 3.5, uh, but it's it's pretty clean besides that little chip at the corner. And then the Vampirella one, it does have some spine ticks and some color breaks, some chipping. This one might be like a 4.0 as well. You know, let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh, I'd be happy to hear your uh, opinion of the grades of these books. Uh, definitely something that I might consider sending off to CGC to get graded. Uh, just some really awesome books to have in the collection. I spent a lot of money and uh, I only got three books and, you know, but I'm extremely happy. I'm more than happy to have uh, these three books in my collection now. So that's the video for today. I hope you enjoyed checking out this pretty awesome comic book haul. That shop was a lot of fun. Uh, they had everything there. Vinyl records, toys, comic books, magazines, video game stuff. I mean, they had everything. Some antiques and collectibles. Really cool shop. It was a little bit of a mess uh, because they just moved into their new location. But honestly, it's kind of fun diving through all the boxes and bins. You never know what you're going to find. And then the owner was super cool, and he pulled out all these keys and uh, Golden Age books, you know, just for me to look at. I told him I was looking for comic books. He said that he doesn't have anything in stock, but he had a special box in the back for his special customers. And I felt really, uh, you know, honored. Uh, I did buy stuff from him before at their other location. Uh, that's actually 
a, a video from about a year ago. And that's actually my best video on YouTube. I got around 17,000 views on that video. I'll leave a link down below if you want to check it out. I got really cool books for really cheap. And uh, he hooked it up. And I went back to their new location. And once again, he hooked me up. Very nice guy. And uh, I'm just more than happy to have these books in the collection. All right, that's the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell so you can see when I upload my next video. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.